Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry that it's been a little longer since I made a video. School has just been ramping up with midterms and everything and I still have to make sure I can get into grad school myself. So uh, I've been working on that, but I do have a couple videos I wanna make. So this is one of those. And this is just about, it's gonna be a little short, but it's a, a resource for just general questions and insights for genetic counseling prospective students. And that is Reddit. So maybe you've heard of Reddit and maybe not, but it's basically a, it's like a forum or a community page where there's different communities and different Reddit subreddits, they're called like different subreddit pages. And so on those different pages, um, they're based around some kind of theme or community and then people can uh, join in and ask what they want to ask, post what they want to post, and people can comment on that. And in the terms of genetic counseling, it's been very helpful because um, in the genetic counseling subreddit is involved with genetic counselors, prospective genetic counseling students, and current genetic counseling students. So it's really helpful because you can ask questions that are pertaining to the actual career, to graduate school, um, even to undergrad, there's people that are asking what undergraduate major they should go into. And so I just wanna go over how to use this resource because I found it pretty helpful um, myself. I never really used Reddit before this. I never really understood what it was, but uh, somehow I, I came across it and it's pretty helpful. So I just wanna showcase that a little bit. So I'll do some screen recording too, so you can see exactly what's how to find this and what's, what's going on here. All right, so once you go to Reddit, you're going to go search genetic counseling. And then what will come up is r slash genetic counseling. There's about 2,400 members. And so if you click on this, uh, it'll bring you to the page. <clears throat> and then basically it's just all these different posts. So here's one that they pinned. Um, this is pinned, I guess, because it's one of the most popular uh, things for people to look at. So this is wondering what your chances are of getting into GC school post here. So if you click on that, um, you can see basically everyone is posting all their accolades and their experience and their GPA and all that stuff. Um, basically, then different genetic counselors will, and other people that are involved in this subreddit would comment on that and give a very subjective view based on all the criteria of whether I think they would be getting into grad school. Um, I have not in, engaged in that post because I feel like it's kind of like stressful and I, I'm i confident in what I've been doing for myself. So I just want to focus on myself a little bit and not really look into that stuff. So you certainly could do that if you wanted to, but what I found more helpful is these one-off questions um, like, Here's something about interviews by grad school. Here's something about um, just asking about what what's note taking like in grad school. Like that's just a very simple question um, that you know you might not need to ask like a program director of a counseling a program or anything like that, but it could certainly be helpful if you're wondering the logistics of what it's like to be a grad student. So that's an example where um, if you go on this post, then some grad students are gonna answer those kind of questions. And there's no, it's completely on like a volunteer basis that people go on here and answer questions. I know I've answered a question that was from a high schooler that's going to enter undergrad. And so then I just knew I could help that question because it was about their their major for undergrad. So I'm a molecular bio major. And after completing everything, I realized, for instance, I probably could have done a different major maybe even an easier major and still just done the prereqs for genetic counseling. Um, whereas, you know, my major ended up covering all those prereqs, but it definitely had some harder classes as well that I didn't really need for genetic counseling prereqs. But, you know, here's a question about personal statements. Um, something that I've asked on here before was about asking what an industry role looks like uh, and some genetic counselors answered that or gave me some pointers to like another webinar I could check out that would cover something like that. Basically, um, there's not too much to cover here, but 
this is just a really helpful resource. It's completely free. You don't even have to have an account. Um, you have to have an account if you want to ask a question, I think, or comment on a question. But outside of that, you can definitely just log on to your browser, type in Reddit, and then <clears throat> find the Genetic Counseling Reddit. You don't even have to join it. Like if you see at the top, you can join, <clears throat> and that's gonna prompt you to log in. So if you wanna join it, I have joined it, and so I get updates every time there's a post, which I think is pretty helpful. So you can certainly do that, but you don't have to even have an account. You can just use this at, uh, to see other things that people are asking, which oftentimes is just as helpful as asking your own questions, especially if you don't have anything in mind to ask. So that's all for this video. Um, it's just a short one, but this is a really good resource for basically any stage of your journey with genetic counseling. Even when you're a genetic counselor, uh, you could potentially be asking other genetic counselors this or kind of paying forward the advice by um, answering some questions that people may have if they're prospective genetic counseling students. So yeah, that's it for this video, but uh, I have some more coming out. I wanna talk about personal statements and um, even maybe like majoring for genetic counseling uh, in undergrad because that's what I, said, what I said I answered on this Reddit post. I thought that was a question that maybe other people have if they know in high school that they want to do genetic counseling. So also have some more interviews in the works because of course that's one of the most uh, helpful parts of this channel uh, to provide those interviews, especially when we're still having a little trouble with shadowing from COVID and everything else like that. So I'll see you next time.